Karnataka's cabinet was finally expanded on Thursday with the addition of 10 new members. The 10 are all from Congress, former Congress and JDS MLAs, who withdrew their support to the coalition government last July, causing its collapse. Mai Sharma reports. Karnataka has 10 new cabinet ministers. All these men, sworn in as ministers in the Raj Bhavan, were formerly with the Congress and the JDS. They brought down the earlier coalition government by withdrawing support. And this is their reward for crossing to the BJP and seeing that the party has a comfortable majority in the state assembly. What about portfolios? When, when will that be? Portfolio is a specific name. But it wasn't an easy process. 16 former coalition MLAs joined the BJP. 13 were given BJP tickets to contest by polls in the seats left vacant by their resignations. 11 of them won. Mahesh Kumatali was the only winner who was left out. <laughs> And what about those who have been with the BJP for longer but still haven't got a cabinet berth? The party would need to keep resentment in check. They're not unhappy? <laughs> the chief minister will once again head to Delhi to consult with his national leaders about portfolio allocation and also names for the remaining vacant slots in the cabinet. Choosing the new ministers was not an easy task for BS Yediyurapa. It was, in fact, quite awkward. All the men sworn in today were former Congress and JDS MLAs who withdrew support from the coalition government, joined the BJP and won by polls, making sure the BJP had a majority in the state of Karnataka. BS Yediyurapa said he owed them. But the original BJP members were not too happy about that. And challenges lie ahead. Portfolios and keeping the whole flock happy. With GM Kumar, Maya Sharma in Bengaluru for NDTV.